So all eyes on Shamir Little, and he's going for her third win in this event, but it's Ebony Morrison who's gone out well, her meeting record of 25.8, and a real disaster for Ashley Spencer who's pulled up. So just stuttering into that one, it's Morrison from Little, as they come in towards the second half of the race now. Now Shamir Little starting to show her 400 meter strength. Also going very well on the inside, Chian Salmon, and it's Salmon who leads. Chian Salmon, the 22 year old, she stumbles as well, and Shamir Little, well that's gonna be close on the line. If it hasn't gone to Xi'an Salmon, it will be that last hurdle blunder as Shamir Little finished very strongly. So we're picking up here on the women's road mile. We can see that this happened just across the river earlier today. So these are the highlights of this one. We can see that it's Nikki Hiltz there in the lead. Dominic Scott, she's going well. Rebecca Marr. And I guess this feels like such a long way as well when you're just running out and you've not got those laps to tick off as you do on the track. Really interesting to see these competitors. Dominique Scott there from um, South Africa. She's in third place. She's better known over 5,000 and 10,000 meters. So a little bit of speed here for her. Nikki Hiltz, she's got a um, personal best over 1,500 meters, 401. She represented the US two years ago now at that World Championships in Doha. And Re Rebecca Marr, she's run really well so far this year, over 800 and 1,500 meters. What a real battle going on at the front between Marr and Hiltz. And Hiltz just looks really strong there, doesn't she? On the outside of that lane. You can see the little cones on the inside. That would be the shortest distance, but Hiltz is making sure she's not running too close to those cones. And at this point now, she's really pulling away from the rest of the field. You can see Dominic Scott there in third place from South Africa. You'd think that she'd have the strength towards the end of the race. And Nikki Hiltz it is, who took the win in that one. So Dos Santos will have to get into his running a little bit quicker than he uh, does usually in Latin and Dos Santos. CJ Allen started boldly out on uh, lane five as well. Now Dos Santos with that big stride started to come through, but still CJ Allen going well. Latin probably just about at this stage. Latin from Dos Santos now is challenging these two very, very tight in the air together. Dos Santos coming through late on, probably just about got there. So this would be a great win if Gould can hang on to this one. Indeed she does, and she gets a win by maybe five meters by the end of that one. From Wilson in second place, and I actually think it was Ali Wilson in third. So great win there, Natoya Gool from Jamaica, taking the win in the 600 meters. And that's a big win ahead of RJ Wilson. This time they go. Well, Brittany Brown has probably got the best 100 meters form out of the protagonists in this. And Lena Irby is up on her at this stage. Desiree Bryant hugging right on the outside of her lane at the moment. But it's Irby from Brown. And Irby moving away, actually, in the closing stage to take it by half a metre or so in the end. Taking on this men's 600 metres. And again, these are the 800 metres, guys. Bryce Hoppel and uh, Michael Saruni were also due to be listed in this event. But uh, unfortunately, they were DNSs. So Marco Arup of Canada finished seventh in the World 800 metres final. One by Donovan Brazier, and he, the tall figure, is at the front at the moment. Ellison on the right of the shot on the inside. Josh Hoey of the, uh, the USA, the 21-year-old, and Jamie Webb, who's been in great form, actually, the British athlete, the European indoor silver medalist from the uh, championships earlier on this year. But it's Marco Arup at the moment still laying it down. Went for, went for gold, went for the finish line pretty early on. At the moment, nobody's got near him. It's been Arup from the start now jamie webb coming through between athletes but it looks like he's surely got too much to do to reel in marco arup in the closing stages here and marco arup comes up to the line to take it in the end and webb and ellison tight for second in the end well it's good to see johan blake back competing at the top level but he's got hudson right up with him at the moment and on the inside also Edie is going well at this stage but johan blake now coming through and also richards starting to get into his stride as well it's richards from blake at this stage and richards takes it tight for second between blake and hudson but all eyes on what miller Weibo can do here the olympic champion in the 400 over the straight 200. Well, it's certainly an intimidating sight for the athletes either side of her, not just because of her, her tall physical stature and that 
upright running style as well, but certainly Johnson on the inside has gone out particularly hard, and Lee Ahi closest to the camera as well on the left of shot, but Miller Weibo now flowing beautifully through the second half of the race. 21.76, her previous best time. It's going to be just outside that on this occasion, easing up towards the line. 22.08 for Shorty Miller Weibo. So away they go. Kenny Harrison, uh, unsurprisingly, the first to rise and leads at this stage. Clemens also starting strongly, but it's Kenny Harrison through them and looking powerful, powering up to the line. That's a superb performance. 12.49. Holloway in the centre. There's an interesting style on the, uh, the start line as he crouches and takes a set position as Brathwaite clatters a couple and Suits does the same, but Holloway just as serene as Kenny Harrison was. Merritt's clattering hurdles, so is Trykovic on the inside, but no problems for Grant Holloway, who dominates, lays down 13.20. Nobody else was able to put a race together there, but Grant Holloway, as he did in the World Championship final when it went wrong for others, he nailed it, 13.20. Yeah, I don't think anyone has told Grant Holloway you're not supposed to make it look that easy. <laughs> Everyone behind him were clattering hurdles, weren't they? Find his native South Africa this year since landing in the US. Blake outside him going well. Zarnell Hughes looking good as well. It's Hughes from Van Niekerk at this stage as they move into the second half of the race. But now Van Niekerk just starts to edge his way in front. Jerome Blake's running well. He's outside. Van Niekerk's pulling up. Oh, no. Wade Van Niekerk has pulled up tight on the line in the end. But the big story of that race, I'm afraid, is not the winner. It's that man. The world champion, Van Niekerk, hobbles over the line. So Uhura, we know she's a good starter from her 60 meter prowess and she's got out very well, but Gabby Thomas has also gone well through the early part of the race and Hobbs too, and it's probably just Hobbs at this stage from Thomas and Hobbs I think gets there. 11.05, the winning time for Aaliyah Hobbs who put together a good race there. So Noah Lyles with the benefit of that center lane, but Isaiah Young was out much better and it's Isaiah Young at the moment and Noah Lyles has got to come from behind here and he's not going to do it. Isaiah Young takes it in 9.94. Superb performance from Isaiah Young. All the talk about Noah Lyles, but Isaiah Young says, I'm taking Boston, thank you very much. 9.94.